Of course I can help you, Vivian. I would love to teach you a lot about the English language. There is nothing revolutionary about the language. The one thing that is consistent is that the more you practice, the easier it will become to speak automatically with very little assistance. Uh, that's a great Dr. Persilla. Can we get started now? Yes, that will be fine. So I want you to read this article about the pandas. I read the article already and I scanned it again this morning. The picture of those uh, cute pandas made me think of getting a pet one day. I was happy to read that they could automatically climb the trees without falling and getting hurt. Okay, on line 10, it says, I read, I read, okay? And then that word climb, C-L-I-M-B, it's climb. Can you read line 10 okay. again? Climb. Read line 10 again. Okay. I read the article already and I scanned it again this morning. The picture of those cute pandas made me think of getting a bit one day. I was happy to read that they could automatically climb. 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 The B is silent. Climb. Okay, climb the trees without falling and getting hurt. Very good. Now, up to line 10, are you understanding what you have read? Yes. Very good. Hmm, you would like a pet? I think you know you will have to make arrangements for your pet when you are away from home. To have a pet means that you will need to have an intense desire to keep the pet safe. Uh, I'm glad that you mentioned this. It will be difficult to keep a pet, especially since I travel a lot. I know having a pet is not very convenient. However, I still would like to have a pet. Can you tell me about other challenges I will have if I get a bed? Specifically, what are some of the things I will have to do to keep a bed? Okay, this word is things. Specifically, what are some of the things I will have to do to keep a pet? Okay, make sure that you're okay. pronouncing the S's. One thing for sure is this. You will need to make sure your pet has food and water daily. You will need to constantly scan the area to make sure that dangerous items or materials are put away. I can do that to Priscilla. I'm well aware of the concept of keeping things in order. As a student at the university, in the educational department, I have to stay organized with almost everything I do. I remember the last assignment unveiled in class. I had to make some revolutionary, revolutionary, revolutionary change in the way I completed my assignment. Anyway, I'm planning on getting a roommate soon. I think my roommate can make sure that the need for water and food is taken care of. My roommate might be of great assistance to me with my pet. What was the assignment? My student. Line 16. Yeah, each student had to write uh, a paper discussing the importance of connecting with people in countries different from their own. That was a great assignment, Vivian. 
How did you do? Oh, don't worry about that. As long no, no, no. As line, eight, line, 18, line 18. Line 18. Line 18. Okay. Uh, I did okay, I think. I don't realize I need to work on my pronunciation. Oh, don't worry about that. As long as you practice with great techniques, you will do fine. If you would like, I can teach you in a session about fluency and coherence. This is a challenge for some English language learners. However, with patience and practice, you will be able to connect with more English speaking people no matter where they live. I hope you're right. Say, look at the time. I must go now. Take care. Bye. You too. Take care. Enjoy your day. Bye. All right. Okay. So how is this lesson going for you so far? Are you enjoying the lesson? Yes. All right. Now what I'd like you to do is to go back to the very top and I'm going to ask you to read the article, paragraph one and paragraph two. When you're ready, you may start. Okay. Baby Panda Dialogue. Di dialogue. Dialogue. It's dialogue. Dialogue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, two seven months old pandas were unveiled recently at the Pina Zoo. Mm -hmm. Once the baby pandas were outside for a day, they were introduced to a new concept. They were allowed to play outside in the trees and the grass. The two pandas found their play quite a challenge, mm -hmm. likely because they are so young. They're only seven months old. A play area was not too large. However, as they get older, I think an, an area for play will include an expansion section for their convenience, care, and growth. Very good. Any questions about paragraph one? Um, no. Okay, let's read paragraph two. Uh, the pandas were very intense in their play for over two hours before returning to their home During their time of play, they would automatically climb mm -hmm. into the trees without assistance or fear of falling. This revolutionary experience made their mother keep a watchful eye on them as she would constantly scan the area to make sure their home in the Venian Zoo was safe. Very good. Now, if you were preparing for the IELTS exam and the examiner asked you about a zoo you had visited, you could talk about this article that you read today. As you talk about the article that you read today, you could say something like this, and try to use the synonym words that we've learned or the vocabulary words from the story. And it might sound something like this. Recently, I visited the zoo and I noticed that the panda bears did not need assistance in their play. They were somehow challenged by the fact that the space was limited, but they were able to climb the trees, which was a revolutionary experience for them. The concept of being in captivity was nothing new to them because they knew nothing but being in captivity. I automatically bought tickets for the month so that I could go to the zoo 
every weekend. Can you try to summarize the story? Or if this were an IELTS question, tell me about the zoo and try to use as many of these vocabulary words as possible. All right, you may start when you're ready. Okay. For now, if it's easier, just summarize the article for me using all of the words. We know that unveiled means to reveal and the opposite is to cover or hide. Okay. Um, uh, so, uh, one day, three. Mm -hmm. Uh, one day when I uh, go to the zoo, mm -hmm. I saw uh, the pandas. Mm -hmm. um, they were outside for play. Okay. And um, they were playing in the trees and the grass. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you try to use any of the vocabulary? Okay, the pandas, uh, a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, between each other, because mm -hmm. they are young. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, they play in the, in the small area. Mm -hmm. All right, let's stop here for today and I'll send you the copy of the document. You can review it and practice it. And then when we talk again, we'll practice more thinking about how we can use these vocabulary words as we talk about something that we have read. All right. Okay. All right, just a second.